This video is by Mark Kingston from the ARA Institute of Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand. Okay, so this video here is a continuation of uh, developing the pattern for the spherical chimney. So I've already drawn this pattern in a previous video which you have access to. And what I want to do now is I want to develop the transition on the bottom here. It's a dodecagon to a square. So I've redrawn it on another sheet here. Um, it's plan over elevation, uh, third angle projection. Uh, so I've drawn half of the plan at the top here because you only need a half. In fact, you only need a quarter. You don't need a quarter on one side to develop it out, but I drew a half. And so that's the plan view on the bottom view here, front elevation, uh, 175 mil high. So what I've already done uh, is I've taken these links, I've numbered everything on the inside from zero through to the radius in the corner. Uh, now the radius has uh, got three even uh, distances around it, so that's why there's so many numbers on the corner. And then it shoots across the five on the other side, and then on the outside we've got E, D, C, B and A. Uh, in actual fact, the pattern is uniform out either side. So if we were to run a line between C and between uh, the points 2 and 3, uh, it's actually a mirror image on either side. So uh, I've taken those links. Let's just, uh, which one will we take? We'll just say this length here, for instance, uh, E to 4. Uh, if I do a list on that, have I got list on there? I have. So E to 4 has a length here of 175.05 millimeters. So what I've done is I've swung an arc. Uh, I'll just do it to demonstrate. So I drew a circle at 175.05. And as you can see, uh, the line was E to 4. And it's exactly the same as... Uh, Okay, so I've got to pan that first, sorry. So the distance A to 1 is the same as E to 4, and that's why right out on the end here, this is our true length for that line. They're both on the same point. So a lot of the points actually are exactly the same. So I've taken all of those uh, links off the uh, plan view and I've stuck them across the elevational height, this line here, which is the 175, and I've worked out my true lengths. So we'll start developing it. So we'll start off with this line here. Um, I'm actually only going to do half of that, so I'm going to go from 5 to 4, and let's just get the length of that. We'll take that out of list. So it's got a length of 268 millimeters. so half of that is 134. So a line starting off here. 134 long. Uh, the line up through here from 5 to E, and that is that length there. So do a list on that. What have we got for length? And we've got 208.11 millimeters. So from this end here, I'm going to draw a line 208.11 millimeters. I hit the wrong numbers. 208.11. So that's my true length line. It's a triangle, so I'm going to go down to there. So starting off, I'm going to copy the five uh, clipboard, paste it. So there's the 5 at that point there, uh, the 4, so copy C, uh, copy v, control V, there is point number 4, and we were going up to E, so we'll copy that, control C, and that is control V, so E is right at the top there. And the next line we can put in uh, is from uh, E to D. And that has a length here of what? 
list giving us a length of 70.37 millimeters. So from the top there, across there, 70.73 millimeters. So that is point D. Copy that. Uh, and paste that is point D. It's a bit slow putting all these numbers in, but uh, I really want to do that just to show you. So from there, D down to 4. That's that triangle. So we've made uh, two triangles there. We've got this triangle here. We've got this triangle through this point here. So now we're going to do the triangle of uh, 4 to D to 3. So the distance from, um, okay, I need to, how am I going to do that? I'm going to do a dim, a line. So the distance from 4 to 3 is 2.82 uh, millimeters. So what did I say? 4 to 3. So I'm going to draw a circle there. You would do this with your divider. So 8.28 millimeters. And then I want the line here from D down to 3. So D to 3 is this line here. What's the length of that one? List gives us 221.2 uh, millimeters. 221.2 millimeters. So from the top there, 221.02 millimeters. And that gives us an intersection point. Uh, now this, this is a bit awkward for me because of the, the way that this works. So I'm going to just draw a line. It's not as simple. So we're going to get rid of those two circles now. And I'm going to put a line in from that's 3 back up to D. So I'm just going to chunk that across. That is 0.4 there. This is now 0.3. So copy C into here with paste clip. That's 3. So where are we going to next? The next line we're going to do is from D to C. So we want this one here, and that's going to be a circle. What am I looking for? I'm looking for recent input. So it has a length of 140.74 millimeters, and that's going from D, 140.74, so circle, 140.74 millimeters. And the next line I need, so we've created that triangle, we're looking for C. So this, this circle here, uh, represents this 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 line here is the radius for that circle. So I've got point number, I've got point D, I've got point three, and I want uh, from three to C. So if I come down here, where's three to C? It's this line here, and it's a list, and we've got a length of 187.41, 187.41. So a circle. 187.41. So there is uh, point number C. That's that line across to there. So I'm going to get rid of those two circles. And that's a, that's a line in there. And that is C. So I'm going to pinch C from there. Uh, I'm going to do that copy and clip. Copy it. And it is a paste. So that is point C at that point there. So now I need from uh, 3 to 2. And that is the distance there of 8.28. So 3 to 2. I'm going to draw a circle. 8.28. And we're going from C back to 2. So uh, three to C and two to C. So we're starting to, oh, we've got enough detail on the sheet already to mirror image down through from C uh, 
if we had a, a line straight between two and three, we'd have enough details to actually do the image. So I'm just going to lay the whole thing out. So we want the line that we're looking for is 2C. I've got to go back to that. So it was 2C, and that had a, a list length on it of what? It was 187.41. Uh, so from 2, uh, from C. One eight seven point four one. So there's the next point. So I'm going to draw a line down there, down to that point there. I'm going to get rid of that circle. I'm going to get rid of that circle, and I'm going to draw a straight line across there. So I'm just going to shift that across. So now we've got point two. I'm going to capture that that off there. Control C. And I come back over here, Control V. And while I'm here, I'll, I'll draw my next circle for the point number one, which is 8.28 again. So we've now got 2 to C, and we want line from C to B. And that should be, if I've got it right, 140. Uh, 0.74, one, that's correct, so 140.74, and we want 2, uh, so we've got 2 to C, and that is line B, so we want 2 to B, don't we, we want 2 to B, so down to here, 2 to B is that line there. Uh, it's a list for 2 to B, and it was 221.2, 221.2, so a circle from there, 220, sorry, 221.2, so there's that line, so we've now got this line going from 2 to there and back to C. That's right, so we can get rid of that, we can get rid of that, and that is point B. Uh, control C for that, Control, uh, doing it all back to front. So there's point B. And uh, what have we got now? So we want from B, we've got point, we've got B, we've got 2, and we want to go back to 1. So we want the line 1B. There it is there, 1B, so what have we got on that? That is our 217.62, 217.62, so 217.62, there's our point for that one, so we can come down to there and across to there, that's right, get rid of that. We can get rid of the small circle there. We've now got point number one to capture. So control C for that. And laying that in here at control V. So there's point number one right on the right on the end there. Now what lengths do we need? So we need this length here from one to zero. Uh, and that is how long? Click on it again, Mark. LIS, so we have a length of 134 millimeters. So I'm going to draw a circle from there at 134. And what else do we need? We want from point number one up to point A. So one to A. Here we have one to A. Right, it's this one right on the end here. It's our longest one. And it's 247. Point uh, 247.52, 247.52, and that was going from, okay, 247, oh, sorry, I need to go back to that, I've lost my train of thought, so one was 247.52, Going from one 
247.52 and that is for line from B to A to B so I've got a list length on that of 70.37 so a circle from there of 70.37 so there's that point across to there that goes to 1 so I can get rid of those two circles there and what do we need? so that's A isn't it? Uh, so we've got 1, we've got A and we want A to 0 A to 0 just shifting this, A to 0, there it is, A to 0 get the length on that and we have 208.11 so circle from there 208.11 that down to there and across to there so take that off there, that off there uh, so what did I say, that had to be zero copy that and paste it there's zero A, capture A, copy paste it on there. If our pattern's correct, dim angle, uh, this angle here should be 90 degrees, which it is. This angle here should be 90, which it is. Uh, this distance here, recent input, got a list length of 208.11. This was a 208.11, that's correct. So there's, our, there's a quarter pattern um, using that information. Uh, I can actually flip all of this. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, get rid of the A and I'm going to get rid of the zero. And uh, okay, sorry, I'm going to do a mirror image. So mirror, uh, copy it all. Sorry, do it again. Repeat mirror. Ah, do it again. And okay, so select mirror image and we're mirroring it on this line here. So there we go. Push that and then push uh, that. So we'll get rid of one A, we'll get rid of one of the zeros, we'll get rid of that one. So there's our pattern. We can take the 90s out. So that's half a pattern. Um, for the dodecagon to the square uh, with the radius corners. So you can see that the radius is uh, quite tight down in the corners. Um, but if you get it all right, your final corners should be 90 degrees. These two corners should be 90 degrees, which means that these ones in here were also 90. And that's how you would lay out your pattern uh, with a joint line going on, um, well, this little line here from 0 to A on both sides uh, down through the middle. And if I was to flip all those numbers across to the other side, uh, you'd have the, have the, the line on the outside there. So that's how you're going to do your pattern. You're going to do it in two halves. You won't be able to form it up in the press break. Uh, as one piece. So, uh, what have I done? You need to watch this video a few times so you get conversant with it, so you're confident with it on day one when you come to mark out your pattern. Excuse me, um, because that's what you're going to have to do straight into it on day one doing your pattern work. So, I'm going to leave it there. I won't carry on talking anymore, but that's how you're going to do it. And you need to, oh, the other thing is that you actually need to work to the mean sizes when you do the pattern. The material is three millimeters thick, so you will work to a mean thickness uh, when you're developing your pattern so that you get the pattern at the correct size. So I'll leave it there for you, thanks.